Hello, my name is Dan Lo. In this video, I'm going to talk about Google Close Your Library and Compiler. So the software I used in this video and the versions are as follows. The Java virtual machine, I use the version 1.8.0 underscore 291 and a Kojo compiler version 2022.0502 and the Kojo library version 2022.0502.0.0 and the node uh, version 18.0.0 okay so first of all uh, let me just briefly introduce the what are Google Closure Library and the compiler. The Google Closure Library is a broad, well tested, modular, and cross browser JavaScript library for a larger set of reusable UI widgets, controls, and the front low level utilities for DOM, manipulation, server communication, animation, data structures, unit testing, rich text editing, and, and more. So basically, the library uh, developed by the Google uh, for web applications uh, using JavaScript. And Google Code Compiler is a tool for making the JavaScript download and run faster. Basically, optimize uh, the JavaScript uh, and translate uh, your JavaScript into a uh, uh, con concise or uh, compress I, I wanna say compress I would say you know uh, the <coughs> concise uh, JavaScript with the same uh, functions that you developed okay so that's pretty cool and also I'm gonna use that uh, code compiler you know to uh, demonstrate the use of modules okay and also uh, I can aggregate or compile several Java script files into a complete uh, JavaScript file so that in your web applications you can just you know point to that complete the Java file even though you have several JavaScript files in your project okay so that's the intent for this video and the project folder structure like this I have a uh, top label project directory Google. okay so the, under the Google I have a closure library uh, folder that actually uh, contains all the closure library uh, stuff there then I have a folder named modules inside the modules I have uh, yeah, several modules I'm just gonna create a uh, one module, my module is .js there, okay. And the main JS is the entry point of the application that of, of course we're gonna, we're gonna uh, import this module into this main module, okay. And the user function defined there. So that is about this, okay. So now let's go back, not go back, <laughs> let's go to uh, some. So first of all, um, you need to install the software, okay? And here, the closed compiler installation basically, uh, you download a jar file, the closed compiler jar file from Marvin uh, repository, which is right here. And I, at this time, you know, I get the 0502, 2022 0502. So download this uh, jar file, okay? And after you download it and put it into your uh, that that thing into your project directory, which I already did uh, in the right here. Okay, so right here. So under the cool. Okay, so I have the Clojure library downloaded right here. Okay, right here. Okay, now. Um, that's the first thing you need to install. And second, 
you need to install yes the Kojo library. Okay. Uh, there's a couple ways to get this Kojo library. Uh, but I basically use the uh, GitHub Chrome. Okay. So I run this Git Chrome uh, and this URL. Okay. And so you can simply go into or oh, this is a Git. Now this is a page, page shell, okay, uh, in Windows. Uh, you don't have to have this, but uh, you have to, you have to have git uh, client. So you type git, okay, and then clone. Uh, just basically copy this thing, okay, copy this thing, the URL. Copy the whole thing, okay. Just copy the whole thing, okay. Copy the whole thing. And put it here, okay. Okay, so I can clone this. So since I already did, so I don't want to do it again, okay. So after that, uh, you should have a close your uh, library. library folder so this all stuff I just you know clone it and then you also have to uh, <coughs> do this npm install okay uh, if you don't have npm you need to install mvm mvm okay uh, so my npm uh, I think my npm is uh, 8.6.0 okay so you can say npm install. Okay. So follow this. This this will create the uh, tips.js. Okay, tips.js right here. Okay. So after that, uh, you all set. Okay. So now uh, I go back here. Okay. Now I I, I don't have any uh, stuff there, even though the modules. Okay. And nothing there, right? So. I'm just going to use the code Microsoft, uh, which is typically a code, you know, to create a file. Okay. So first, I'm going to uh, create uh, my module that is in under the under the uh, modules. Okay. So okay, say my module JS. So inside, inside uh, this is my module. Js. Uh, first thing I need to uh, create a, a module using Goo. Okay. Uh, say Goo uh, module. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna give it a name. Say then the L O. Okay. And that's my name of module. Okay. So that's the first thing you need to do. Okay. So, so, so it's basically saying that this cannot be the module, then the L O, or the, the name, the namespace is then the L O. Okay. And now, uh, first, I'm gonna create a function called my fun. Okay. Uh, so my fun is a function. Okay, which it detect two arguments and then uh, you return uh, x. One. Okay. So that's basically this function. And I want to uh, export. export this function. So I use export um, that uh, my fun. Okay. Uh, <coughs> and then export this. Okay. Give you two functions. So for example, you can export. Constant maybe uh, my const. Okay. They say this is this is my const. They say uh, uh, whatever you want to call it. Maybe your name or whatever. Uh, okay, something like that. Okay. 
and again you want to export export this as well so it's a export exports my const okay okay so let's export it basically so that will be that will be it that will be your module okay and again uh, save it now uh, let's go to the tab label right here the group right here now I need the uh, go to the modules I don't like that so let me just delete it okay. I think I need to go here okay so let's see the outside so that's at the entry point and <coughs> so in the main and again, uh, I also need to make it a module, otherwise it won't work, okay? So I do group that uh, module, okay? And then here, uh, I'm just go, uh, then the low, let me just call it main, okay? Main module. And after that, uh, I <coughs> can require, okay? Uh, require, let's say, uh, then you go to go dot uh, require. Okay. In a require, simply say type that the module name. Okay. And then after that, I should have I should be able to access to my func. So I say so console dot log. Okay. So then that uh, my func. Okay. And then, then that uh, my const, right? That's uh, my const. Okay. So, and I save it. Now, uh, now I sh I have the file, and that is right here, right? And then. I have the module defined right here. Okay, the module defined here. Okay, now I need to compile it. So I go to the. So now let's double check the file I have uh, now. I have main that is okay. It's there. Modules. My module. Is also there. Okay, so now uh. I'm just going to use uh, the Google Code Compiler to compile uh, my application. Okay, so the Java, the Java. Okay, and then the Code Compiler will download it. It's, uh, it's this guy. Okay, and then <coughs> after that, I put a JavaScript file. I need to include it. Uh, first, I need to include the Code Compiler base. JS. So it's gonna be in here, code your library or code your cool base.js. So this is the one I need it. And also I need the the library or the the module. So module, uh, my module.js, and I also need uh, the main.js, okay, that, that, that is the uh, entry point, okay. And then the JS uh, uh, output, uh, file, okay, uh, 
output file, I'm going to call it uh, then underscore compressed. Compress.js. Okay. So, that'll be it. So, after I compiled it, I should have the then compressed the JS. That's about 30k. And the main dash is about uh, 115 bytes. And then uh, modules. Uh, the My modules is like uh, one, two, three, four, about one Mac. Uh, I don't know, somehow it's just so big. One Mac, okay. So one Mac, after the, compi after the Gojo compilation, okay, I only. I reduce the size from one Mac down to 30k roughly. Okay. So it actually and then it's exact the same thing. The functionality, you know, function wise, um, it preserves the exact the same. And you can take a look at the uncom uh, complaced okay, complaced the JS. It's a JavaScript for that is so it removed the spaces the character return and replace the long variable name and so and so forth. Okay, so it's pretty like that. Okay, and also it re rename the you know the parameter names using a in a shorter name you know to save space. Okay, so that is uh but we need to make sure that it it's also it will run. Okay, so you say node uh, then compressed okay so now i got output a nine that's if you remember that is uh, coming from this nine okay four plus five okay that's a nine it's coming out of here okay and then i also look then that my const which is then load i set it right here all right so that's pretty much about the Crojo library, the use of Crojo library, and the Crojo compiler uh, from Google. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much for your patience need to watch this video. Okay, if you like it, share it and thumb up or you know, give me comments. Thank you, everybody. Bye.